Everybody can be who they want to be. Not everybody is part of a gang. There's some young people who are trying to elevate themselves. There's young people trying to put forward a stance of positivity. My choice of being an ambassador for the good was conscious. And again, I do have backlash for that, like my knee. Like, this is what people have done to me because of my stance. Osman did not play with young children, like in the estates where he was born and grew. He always had significant adults, and he saw what we represent and what we stood for. Growing up here, there happens to be drug dealing, there happens to be knife crime, and organisations that run within the estate that get up to things that are just no good. But however, we do have a stroke of fortune. We have Providence Youth Club, we've got Keys House, we've got Battersea Arts Centre. I was able to use my environment and look to see who is motivational and who is somebody that is not really worth giving any kind of credibility to. When you take someone else out from an environment and show them something good, which is still in reach with them, it just brings about a new persona to the person, which I think I was able to fit into that and I was able to showcase my skills and I'm able to affect my community, which I don't think is on the academic forum for the year. I encouraged him with lots of board games. Life is what you make it is based on when Stanley Estate where we are and the aim of the game is to educate those in society and young people to have better life choice, opportunity, skills, making critical thinking and to be able to make the players that play it become better citizens. It makes the player understand what do you value, short-term validation or long-term futuristic opportunities. So it's not about money, it's about your risk, karma and knowledge levels. If you've got too much risk, jobs won't employ you, people don't really want to be around you because you're tainted. But if you've got a lot of knowledge and karma, you're more likely to be a person that's respectable and has a good rating. I supported Osmond and Life's What You Make It as a producer thinking about how to develop the mechanism of the game, how to turn it into a school's resource, how to bring on partners who are able to support us with the expertise that we needed to do that, and also how to continue to fund it. What Osmond does is so important because he supports young people in his community to change their perception on their situation and their choices. And also he lifts up his community and celebrates it. I think it's amazing that he had that idea with such clarity at such a young age and he's pursued it for 10 years and enabled it to grow and reach so many people's lives. I think I've been educated today to know that National Lottery does a lot more than what the eye can see and having been shortlisted and becoming a winner has made me kind of feel influential and I have now a position to play which is to continue my work and to stay positive of everything I do. My grandmother influenced me with her kind of demeanour in public. She knows how to hold a room. She was really strong-willed and determined, so I just like to say I love you, Nani. I've been different countries feeding, looking after people on my own budget and seeing your grandson developing that kind of behaviour, it glorifies my heart.